first of all, we are uh, our biggest asset are pilot watches. Uh, but funnily enough, what was missing in this collection was a little bit of a, a more classic pilot watch, a little bit cleaner in terms of design, calmer, uh, more understated. And we have all these board instruments, um, which Breitling introduced in the 1930s, but also the first classic pilot watches, which we produce in this uh, Atelier 8. And we got all the inspiration uh, from these products, be it the bezel, the hands, uh, the, um, the dials. Um, and, and, and this is why I think we've now completed uh, the line from very classic, pilot's watches with a little bit of retro touch to the very modern uh, instruments for professional and and now i think we have the be best equity in the industry in terms of pilot's watches if you really uh, look into the uh, current watch industry how many of the super classic watches i mean the icons the institute institutions are new products Think about it. I know one or two, which I'm not going to name. Uh, all the others have uh, are, are products which are there since 30, 40, 50 years, of course evolving, uh, but are fundamentally historical designs. Um, and I think that's one aspect of it. I'm not saying that the designs of the old days was better than uh, of today, but it is a very sustainable trend and people today uh, in this digital age want also real values, reassurance and therefore the historical aspect uh, is so important and I don't know any big luxury brand in the world not emphasizing on its history, on its root, on its uh, DNA and this is what we're going to do not only talk about the recent past but really from 1884 with the beautiful years from, 1994, uh, from 1940 to 1980. So we are reviewing, uh, I would say, uh, our artistic style. Uh, we are certainly going to simplify uh, our products in terms of design, make it more readable, uh, in a way cleaner. Um, besides our instruments for professional, which have to have professional indications, so that's one aspect of it. I think our communication has to become more contemporary. The society changed a lot of, of the last five to ten years. And anyway, as we are entering also other fields besides pilot's watches, but also earth and water, we need to have a, a wider way of communicating. And of course, we need to review uh, our boutiques. We've now launched one test in Zermatt, which is a, a Swiss skiing resort with a new concept, which is more industrial style, more loft style, um, and it has been extremely well welcomed. And we're launching now uh, a big flagship boutique in Beijing. And in three, four months in the Dubai Mall extension, Ega, uh, also this uh, extension um, with, with a new boutique concept or the new boutique concept we're going to introduce here to Dubai. There are certainly all the mistakes I've done over the last 25 years, which I hope I'm not going to repeat uh, at Brightling or all the mistakes I've been uh, seeing with, with many other brands. Uh, when you have this experience, um, um, and trust me, when I was a student, I, I thought that this experience idea was ridiculous, but more experience you gain, more assurance you have in what you're doing. And beyond everything, we have a very experienced team uh, coming uh, from many other uh, watch brands. In, uh, in, in the world and this was, this was certainly one of the aspects which uh, could you know, increase the speed of, uh, of everything we are doing. Uh, I think we have been extremely quick in, in reworking both products, uh, communication and, and, and distribution. You always have reaction uh, in online. Um, what is the most important thing is that you, you talk to to, the, to your retailers, to your partners. Um, uh, yesterday, uh, a retailer said, ultimately we have to do what the market is requesting and not what, you know, uh, uh, hardcore connoisseurs would say. It's, um, uh, you, you have to be much more pragmatic and, and realistic and, and basically respond to what the wide base of your customers 
uh, really uh, is looking for. And the response has been tremendous. I think we've never had in, in history at Breitling so many pre-orders and pre-requests on the novelty as we have today uh, within our retail network uh, or our uh, wholesalers uh, on the Navitimer 8. So that's the proof that we're on the right track. Mm -hmm.